Anxiety is a very serious problem that affects people all over the world. It doesn't discriminate against race, gender, religion, regardless if you're in the top 1% of the world's wealthiest, you too can be a victim of anxiety. So to no surprise, countless celebrities have publicly come out with their own stories of dealing with anxiety and truthfully I think it's amazing. For some reason there's a negative stigma about mental health in general, whether it be speaking about it or addressing the issues at hand. So to see people with such large platforms publicly speak about their own experiences, well it's nice to see. I deal with a fair amount of anxiety myself and regardless if you do or don't, the truth is mental health is no different than physical health, something society is slowly but surely coming to terms with. Today we're counting down the top 10 celebrities that struggle with anxiety. What's going down guys? Welcome back to IO. I'm your host Jared Bronstein and today we're talking about a topic that's incredibly important to me. Being someone whose family in general has quite severe issues with anxiety, I can definitely relate to a lot of what these celebs talk about. Hopefully after watching this one, you'll either feel more comfortable speaking about your own mental health issues or at the very least, will be more understanding of those who deal with issues of their own. Make sure to stick around to the very end for some comment replies, but for now, let's roll. Starting us off at number 10, Selena Gomez. In 2016, Selena took a break from her career to focus on her mental health. Telling People Magazine her lupus led to her having severe anxiety and depression. She said, I've discovered that anxiety, panic attacks, and depression can be side effects of lupus, which can present their own challenges. I want to be proactive and focus on maintaining my health and happiness, and I have decided that the best way forward is to take some time off. Thank you to all my fans for your support. You know how special you are to me, but I need to face this head on to ensure I am doing everything possible to my best. I know I am not alone by sharing this, I hope others will be encouraged to address their own issues. She's also an executive producer on 13 Reasons Why, which is known for its focus on struggling and dealing with mental health issues. In at number 9, Emma Stone. In numerous interviews, Stone has publicly spoken about how she has dealt with issues regarding anxiety since the age of 7. Explaining the first time she had a panic attack, I quote, I was at a friend's house and all of a sudden I was absolutely convinced the house was on fire and it was burning down. I was just sitting in her bedroom and obviously the house wasn't on fire, but there was nothing in me that didn't think we were going to die. She even wrote a book in therapy called I Am Bigger Than My Anxiety, in which she told Rolling Stone, I quote, I wrote this book in therapy called I Am Bigger Than My Anxiety That I Still Have. I drew a little green monster on my shoulder that speaks to me in my ear and tells me all these things that aren't true. And every time I listen to it, it grows bigger. If I listen to it enough, it crushes me. But if I turn my head and keep doing what I'm doing, let it speak to me but don't give it the credit it needs, then it shrinks down and fades away. Up next at number 8, Stephen Colbert. Everyone has their own ways of coping or dealing with anxiety and it seems for Colbert, performing is the only thing that helps him escape the vicious cycle that can take a serious toll on one's life. Telling Rolling Stone, I quote, Creating something is what helped me from spinning apart like an unweighted flywheel and I haven't stopped since. He also explained, I quote, I had a bit of a nervous breakdown after I got married, kind of panic attacks. My wife would go off to work and she'd come home because I worked at night and I'd be walking around the couch and she's like, how was your day? And I'd say, you're looking at it. Just tight circles around the couch. Colbert credits medication aside from performing as a big reason he's been able to go on to achieve such accomplishments in his career. Now at 7, Zayn Malik. The former frontman of One Direction wrote an article in 2016 with Time Magazine depicting his struggles. I quote, Anxiety is nothing to be ashamed of. It affects millions of people every day. I know I have fans out there who have been through this kind of thing too. And I wanted to be honest for their sake, if nothing else. When I was in One Direction, my anxiety issues were huge. But within the safety net of the band, they were at least manageable. As a solo performer, I felt much more exposed and the psychological stress of performing had just gotten to be too much for me to handle. At that moment, at least. Rather than hiding away, sugarcoating it, I knew I had to put it all out there. Now, I will say, guys, it's a scary thing not only coming to terms with your own issues, but also going public with them. However, as we continue as a society to collectively show not only is it normal to deal with, but it's actually encouraged to speak about your mental health issues, I feel more people will start slowly being honest with themselves and the world. At number six, Lady Gaga. Speaking with Billboard in 2015 about her struggles, Gaga, whose real name is Stephanie Joanne Angelina Germanota, which I really hope I said right, that's a, that's a long name. Well, she said, I quote, I've suffered through depression and anxiety my entire life. I still suffer with it every single day. I just want these kids to know that the depth that they feel as human beings is normal. We were born that way. This modern thing, where everyone is feeling shallow and less connected, that's not human. In 2012, she started the Born This Way Foundation with her mother, whose mission statement reads, I quote, Born This Way looks forward toward a future that supports the wellness of young people through an evidence-based approach that is fiercely kind, compassionate, accepting, and inclusive. We celebrate the individuality of those we serve, and we revere the bravery it takes to reach out and start the conversation. Together, we're building a community that provides approachable resources, fosters genuine connection, and drives action. 
Overall, it seems their message is to simply empower those who feel they don't have a voice, or at the very least, resources for help. Halfway at 5, Chris Evans. Even Captain America suffers from anxiety, but as I said before guys, it really doesn't discriminate against anyone. In an interview, Evans talked about how his anxiety started to consume him as he started to audition for bigger projects. Specifically speaking on actors, he mentioned how for every one movie you see them in, it's likely that they were rejected dozens of times before. And I can attest to that. As an actor who didn't book my first gig with an agent until 4 years after graduating from acting school, it definitely takes a toll on your mental health. He also explained, I quote, I get anxiety about certain things and press, things like that. However, he's learned, I quote, maybe the thing you're most scared of is actually the thing you should do. In regards to how he deals with his anxiety, he said, the phrase shh has been a big thing for me. Everyone's brain is noisy and the root of suffering is following that brain noise and listening to that brain noise and identifying with it as if it's who you are. Now at number 4, Ryan Reynolds, another superhero. Well, sorta. Of. I guess Deadpool's like a superhero, right? Either way, Reynolds explained to the New York Times in 2018 while interviewing for Deadpool 2, I quote, I have anxiety. I've always had anxiety. Both in the lighthearted, I'm anxious about this kind of thing, and I've been to the depths of the darker end of the spectrum, which is not fun. Reynolds claims his dad being hard on him as a child is likely where this root of anxiety stems from. I quote, He wasn't easy on anyone, and he wasn't easy on himself. I think the anxiety might have started there, trying to find ways to control others by trying to control myself. Moving on to number 3, Ariana Grande. In May of 2017, a bombing would take place at Manchester Arena the night of Ariana's concert. Following the traumatic incident, which killed just under 2 dozen and injured over 130, Ariana admits she's never been the same. Plagued with PTSD as well as anxiety, she told British Vogue, I quote, My anxiety has anxiety. No, I've always had anxiety. I've never really spoken about it because I thought everyone had it, but when I got home from tour, it was the most severe I think it's ever been. She also told Elle magazine, I quote, When I got home from tour, I had really wild dizzy spells. This feeling like I couldn't breathe. I would be in a good mood, fine and happy, and then they would hit me out of nowhere. I've always had anxiety, but it had never been physical before. There were a couple of months straight where I felt so upside down. And at number 2, Leonardo DiCaprio. While doing the rounds for the film Inception, Leo got incredibly honest during an interview with Rolling Stone magazine in 2010. I don't know what it is with Rolling Stone and celebrities telling them about anxiety, but there seems to be a pattern here. Regardless, Leo explained in the interview, I quote, It's crazy how your mind will become this database to make you worry about things that are so arbitrary. I have a well organized life, and I've put a lot of thought into the things that I do. And then, you know, my stomach will be. I'll just be sitting there totally anxious about something ridiculous. You have to stop yourself during the day and say, It's just not worth it. Couldn't have said it better myself. It's just not worth it. In at number 1, Sarah Silverman. Speaking with Glamour Magazine, Silverman told them she initially started dealing with depression at age 13, and shortly after, anxiety also started to haunt her. I quote her saying, I went from being the class clown to not being able to see life in that casual way anymore. I couldn't deal with being with my friends. I didn't go to school for months. And I started having panic attacks. People use panic attacks very casually out here in Los Angeles, but I don't think most of them really know what it is. Every breath is labored. You are dying. You are going to die. It's terrifying. I mean, I will say panic attacks can manifest themselves in different ways, but there was one point in my life, I think it was two weeks before my 25th birthday, that I had such a severe panic attack, my mom literally wanted to take me to the hospital. I couldn't catch my breath. I was just so like wound up emotionally, hyperventilating, bawling my eyes out. Like I think it's safe to say it's probably the worst I've ever physically felt in my life. Lasted maybe 45 minutes to an hour, which is really abnormally long for panic attacks, which normally last like a couple minutes, 10 minutes, if that, usually at most. But when I tell you guys it really felt like hours, I honestly would not wish this upon my worst enemy. It was hands down like the worst feeling I've ever felt in my life. And there you guys have it for the top 10 celebrities that struggle with anxiety. Truth be told, there are plenty of others I could have included on this list and really this list in no way credits or takes credit away from anyone who deals with anxiety or any kind of mental health issue. I just want to say like the fact that it was in order of 10, 9, 8, that, that's irrelevant guys. The fact that I didn't include some people doesn't discredit them as having a lesser amount of anxiety, just wanted to clarify that. And although guys we're heading in a positive direction regarding the negative stigma surrounding mental health, there's more work that needs to be done, but I'm glad to see that any progress is being made at all. Anyways guys, that's it for this one. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Feel free to open up about your mental health struggles if you would like. I just really hope everyone's respectful of each other in the comments. It is the internet, it is YouTube, so. That's all I'm gonna say, I guess. Anyways, guys, in the video, the real reason why Francesca and Harry broke up, too hot to handle, and he said he was immature. I didn't like him since the time he lied about the kiss. I'll be honest, I uh, I, I haven't seen the show, so I don't really, really know who these people are. But uh, obviously, you guys, a lot of you guys wrote that. Apparently, he was immature after the kiss. 
so I guess people don't like him. I don't really know. Nicola Sidel said she was going to move in a few days and he broke up with her. Bro moment. Yeah. Oh. Like, I don't even know what to say. How do you agree to live together and then a few days before just be like, hey, we gotta break up now? Like, something had to have been building up there. You know, at some point that you were having second thoughts, maybe he should have just been like, hold on, before we commit to moving in together, I'm just having second thoughts about us. I don't know. I've never moved in with anybody, so, been living at home since 94. That's when I was born. That's the joke. <laughs> Jay Nutt said, people who get matching tats of each other's names tatted never work out. That's like a rule now, if anything. Yeah, I'm all for like, you know, your body is a canvas and I don't have any tattoos myself, but I don't, you know, if you have tattoos, that's great. I respect it as, as long as you're happy. The whole name tattoo thing is like, I just never really understood it. I mean, honestly guys, well, let Joe Exotic's ex-husband be a prime example of that. I think he had like a, a tattoo right above his, like right under his waist that said property of Joe Exotic and he had to get that taken care of, so. I don't know. I mean, do whatever you guys want. I'm not going to judge. Anyways, I've been your host, Jared Bronstein, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.